Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Seven Beats and today I'm gonna show you how to create a really awesome Afro Trap, Afro Beat in Apple Studio. So in this tutorial, we'll show you how to create the melodies from scratch and then add some simple drums. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So when creating those Afro Trap, Afro Beats, we should choose a higher BPM than normally. So in this case, I'm going to choose 122 BPM and I'm going to use a kalimba as my instrument. So I'm going to use Omnispare and Omnispare just has some really awesome presets in it. So I really like this coffee can kalimba preset. So it should be something like this. Just duplicate this one right here. Turn this up to C. Duplicate it again and this G flat goes really well together with this D flat right here and D sharp. Well, first I'm going to create this part of the melody and I'm going to use this G sharp right here. And we're going to make this chord progression more complex. So I'm going to use this A flat right here and use this one right here. And then I'm going to duplicate just these chords right here. Just add another chord right here. So I'm going to use a D flat right here, F sharp, an A flat, so I'm just basically copying these chords right here and a D flat. That's fire, that's fire. So I've played around with the melody again and right now I'm going to add some drums. So I'm going to use this kick right here And I'm adding the snare right here from my Afro Future sample pack. And I'm going to create a really simple pattern like this. This one, I've turned on the velocity a little bit. Maybe remove the reverb. And I think I'm going to add something like a shaker loop. This one right here. I'm going to remove all the high frequencies. I'm going to add some more snares. Maybe add some, some swing. So I've created this fire kick pattern, which is just really simple. Maybe turn it down, pitch. Normalize it. Maybe reduce it till a little bit. Cut out some of the high frequencies. So I'm going to use this bamboo stick preset right here. I'm going to add a pattern which really turns up the rhythm of this one. Just really adding, really adding this vibe to, to the snares. I'm 
and I'm going to add this jam lock, this one. And I've copied the pattern from the bamboo stick to this one right here. Just the volume a little bit. All right, I'm going to add the 808. So I'm going to use Serum for this one. So I found this 808 preset in Serum. And I'm going to select the notes which I've already used. So I think this should be in G flat right here and C. And just turn down one octave. And the melody is going downwards right here. So I'm using this D flat right here. And it should be something like this. Maybe remove the distortion or reduce it. Link it to the mixer and cut out the high frequencies. Something like this. See, it's still really simple. All right, now I'm going to show you a really simple trick how you can sidechain the 808 or bass. Just select this one right here, sidechain to this track, open up a limiter, so fruity limiter, compressor, sidechain one. Just add some knee and some ratio. So right now it sounds way more clean. And that's basically it. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up. Also make sure to let me know in the comments what you think of this beat and really make sure to download this free Apple beat. The link is in the description. I see you guys in one of my next tutorials.